wait a minute. February 2, 2014, this Shetland, how old is, is he? Three years. Three years. Has some scales on actually both years. The right year is worse. Let's see the right years. So the owner turns the right ear and you can see that uh, the dog has been scratching his ears. And uh, come, let's see, closer look. Closer look. And uh, I need to turn a bit more because the body a bit more. So the scales are, are all over the ears, especially especially the edges and also inside the ears. So the groomer thinks it's a yeast infection and, and, and it's probably that yeast. But the main thing is the scales on the edges of the ear. And you can see, we lift the tip. It's actually all over the edges of the ear. Uh, in this case, it goes, it goes into the ear as well. It goes into the ear, the scales. So, this is most likely a ear mite. I did a ear scraping, but uh, one scraping is negative, does not mean it's not there. Now we look at the left ear. We look at the left ear, and, and the scales are there too, but uh, since it's just starting, it's not very obvious. But uh, you part the hairs, part the hairs of the, the edges. You can see the scales. But I will just focus on it. It's not very obvious on this side. Eh? So there's nothing wrong inside the ear. There's some slight ear wax, that's all. And uh, other than that, it's quite an itchy thing. The top feels very itchy. Yeah. So this ear, you can see the inside is quite clear. There's no scales. There's no scales here, but the scales are on the edges. So the best is treatment is actually to clip, clip off all the hairs on the ear flap, and then apply the mic wash. But uh, it will look so ugly. So. So uh, it's not being done. February 2, 2014, like these KBs and another ear mite in the Shetland.